Uh, so we got the Malawi engine and gearbox on the table outside because it's a gorgeous day, isn't it, Curtis? Yep. Curtis has just given me hand. We're going to lift the box off and we're going to have a look and see what the clutch is like. So we'll just leave the camera running. They'll be. Oh, they're not too tight, are they? No, nope, not like the ones at the bottom. No, they were. And then we can. We've got the, the gearbox, the engine on the hoist, and we've also got the front end strapped down. So it shouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Will they lose? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They haven't got washers on them. And... Oh, hey, this one too? Lose. Yeah. Nothing would surprise me. These cars from uh, overseas, they're either loose bolts or welded. That's, there's, there's no sort of happy medium. We want to have a look at the clutch. We've bought a clutch for this, so we might as well bang it on. Yeah. All out here. We've got this one is a bit tight. Which one? This one. Here. We'll leave the one in the top for last. About 20 degrees up today, isn't it? Yeah. 19, 12 degrees. Mm. It's warm in that in the sun. My snow's melting, Curtis. Leave that one till last, I'll get this one out. It's the loose type. Huh? Loose it, but it looks always the tight. What? This one? Yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna suck it. No, they will go with all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably check. Put all the bolts in here, Curtis. All the nuts. One more, eh? At the top. Yep. If you grab hold of the shaft here and just put a little, stop it from tipping. Really? Yep. Just take the weight of it. Oof. That's in. Wait a minute. We're going to have to shift the weight of this. All right. So the plan is we've got to lift it off and move it to this side. Just keep some weight and I'll get that mother off. Give a little around the other side, Curtis. Ready? See, don't break your back, eh? Well, it looks like we've got a severe oil leak yeah. out the back, which is unsurprising. Uh, yeah, yeah. it's got the clutch in it, but it's. Uh, ooh, got a crack on the casing now. See that? Yeah, to where you think it is. Let's pull that clutch off, eh? Okay. There'll be uh, th 13s. No. There's another one? No, this is it. From the dowels. That's in good shape. Clutch is in a good shape. Make a bloody good tambourine. Yeah. Isn't it? But well, yeah. it's been replaced. It's a check it's a See, look, see how the, the springs are shaggy. The, the, the lining material is good, but the springs are no good. Let's, let's show our viewer. And you see the springs are they're no good, they're knackered. It's been a recent clutch, but it's no good. Ah, here's Lincoln coming. Just stop the video a minute. So we, uh, we got the clutch off and we've got the bolts out and we've noticed that they'd used um, silicone on the threads. That Take was... Uh, sure. Yeah, well there it is, look, there's the silicone. I'm instructed to tell you, see, <laughs> just use silicone on the threads. Not recommended because they came out quite of easy, didn't they? Yeah. So they've had a problem with it before. So now we're going to try and get the flywheel off. We've got the bolts out. 
you get a pry bar, Curtis, and see if we can just hook on the them bolts and pull it off. There we go. See that? Like reactions like a hawk. Have you got that? I'll move this out of the way and we'll drop it straight down into there. Yep. Let's see back here. Nothing. No, no, there won't, there, there won't be anything on there. Would you just drop this down here, Curtis? You can, you can see where it's. Well, let's get the camera off so the, the viewer can see. Sorry about this. It's leaking out of here, look. It's leaking out of there. Now, I bet you when we take that off, Curtis, we'll take those 10mm bolts off 5mm. Um, 10 millimeter heads, those five bolts. Okay. And I bet you, if you put a straight edge across there, it's warped. The, the, the plate is warped. Yeah, the, the plate will be warped. It's got two warped. Because you can see, it's funny how it's sort of washed down here and gathered up down here. You can see that. Look at where the oil's been dripping. A lot of people think it's the sump, but it isn't really. Right. Let's get them 10 mil bolts out. So this is typical of the repairs we see. You can see where they just put silicone on like a five-year-old. Um, yeah, not very good. There's a good chance looking at here though, Curtis. Yeah, it's had a big They've got hole. silicone under the seal. Yeah. So it may or may not have been touching. And another thing, what a lot of people make a same mistake. They, um, they put oil on the crank seal. And you're not supposed to put them on dry. Oh, put them on dry. Now, just as a tail of the tape. Yeah, it, it's uh, straight. It's straight. So what they've done is they've got they've got sealer mm -hmm. under. Yeah. The, it the, pushed it out. And it's pushed under the the seal here. Yeah. That's what's happened. And then they've it caught it in the perfect. Defeated the purpose well, of the that's seal. that's right. Cause look how loose it is. Look at that. Animals, eh? There we go. Is there any uh, sealer on it? Can we get that? Uh... Can we get now we have to be careful, here, Curtis, because there's a, there's an opening underneath mm -hmm. to get um, oil back into the crankcases. Okay. So what we've got to do is get a little uh, exacto blade or something like that. Um, Stanley knife blade, mm -hmm. we'll clean off that silicone there. I will say, let's take the casing off so we can get to it better. No, 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 no. too much work. No, it's not. Because then we've got to put seal around all the casing as well. Oh. We can do it like this. We've got a cleaner right here. Huh? we got a cleaner no, right no, here. No, no, we've got a new seal to go on, Curtis. We've got. We've got a genuine seal to go on. Okay. Oh, this one is still good. It's just always hard as a rock. Exactly. It's no good. It's finished. These seals actually will last an awful long time if they're installed correctly. Okay. So we're going to install it correctly. So let me get a blade out. We'll clean all this uh, covering off. In fact, we should you we should show the viewer what it's like. Spot, right? Well, exactly. Look, there's great big goodenji bits here and <sighs> holes here. That's where. The, do you know something? That's where the uh, the T seal supposed to be. I don't know what that is. Well, there's supposed to be a seal that looks like T. Oh, that covers the hole. No, no, no. To, to when you put the crank end cap in to stop the oil leaking out. Oh, okay. I'm just a bit concerned about oil coming out of here. Look. There shouldn't be any oil in there. Man, it was blocked off right there. No, no, no it's, that's sort of irrelevant. It's, there shouldn't be anything here okay. at all. So we're going to get a little drill bit and we'll put it in and see if it's just a piece of odd oil that's got in. Or or, the, or it's all the way through. Because if that's all the way through, mm -hmm. it's always going to leak. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah. But we can get away with it if, by cleaning it out, if it is all the way through, and putting some um, RTV into it. Right. But it shouldn't, it shouldn't be there. Well, right, let's get it cleaned up. So Curtis is uh, now cleaning up the faces. That's right. We've got all the old RTV off. 
Yeah, that's it. Oh. Yeah, that's looking well. A little bit here and a little yeah, bit there. well, I think that's where they put some sealer in. This engine's. I'm not sure. Oh, about no, that's the rear. That's the, that's the, rear, that, that's the <laughs> rear bearing holder. Yeah, yeah. So just make sure you've got some squirty in here, Curtis. Okay. You won't get it, that's just an oil uh, coming out of there, that's all right. No, I was there. Yeah, so what we realised was that the, we, well go on, you do that. Those things used to come with a nozzle once upon a time, now they don't, you know, like to push in. Yeah. They don't come with that now. Uh, we notice here that the, the bushing's really loose. So we're going to change that again, aren't we? We'll get the die grinder out and we'll just cut it with a die grinder and just pull it out. Okay. None of that messing about with grease and stuff like that. We could do, but we'd be there forever. So I think we'd better get some some bushes organised. Now, what I was going to explain, <coughs> those bushes, that bushes dries a, a bone. Mm -hmm. uh, they're what's called an oil-like bush. It's like compressed brass, like ground-up brass balls. And then they compress it into a bush. What you were supposed to do is soak the uh, bushing in oil 24 hours before you use it, but fortunately I have a can with oil in the container full of them, so they're just ready to go. And what we'll do is we'll put some brake cleaner in these here mm -hmm. to get any oil out. That's it. That's it. You can see the oil coming out. Look at the muck coming out. Look at the muck in here. Look at that. It's filth. Oh, well, not that one. Not supposed to eat it, but you can see, look at the, the silicone that's been pushed out, because they put silicone on the threads, eh? I think we're going to have to get the uh, airline out, Curtis. Yeah. All right, well, let's get some gear out. Right, here we go. We're going to put the bush in. Uh, we got the old one out by simply splitting it with a die grinder and then using one of these, just hooped it out and it came out really nice. Nothing to see there. And putting it in is a different story. Where have I put the bloody bush? Where have I put it now? I have no idea. I had it here. Oh, it's here. Yeah. Stuff everywhere. So this is the uh, oil light bush. It's been soaked in oil for months and months and months. It just looks like a regular bush, but it's thousands, millions little particles of oil, of uh, brass, and the oil gets between it, and that's what lubricates it. To put it in, we're going to use our clutch alignment tool, which is off an old uh, shaft, a nice tight washer, stick this over the end, thus, so it doesn't get mangled by the splines, and tap it in. This is kind of awkward because I can't... Uh... You can't raise it up so much. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Now you'll find you bang against air. That's it. That's all there is to it. Yeah. And then you don't, then you, well, are indeed. Because <laughs> now when you put the clutch in, it's got to be like that. And you can see how tight that is, eh? Lovely that. Yeah. Proud of that. So we'll hang on to that tool there for the clutch. Uh, next thing, we might as well put the seal on, eh? And then it'll give it time to dry. Uh, check out that little hole on the side. Yep, yeah, we've got that one. Do we blow it out? Yeah. We're going to fill those up with a bit of RTV prior to putting the seal on. So uh, I'm going to grab a new tube of RTV. Okay. We're going to put it on. Be right back. Right. It's very difficult to see the screen in this light, but uh, what's demanded is a five millimeter bead across the bottom, and then a three millimeter bead all the way around. So it says, first of all. a head start because there is a hole there. It doesn't matter too much what it looks like but as long as it's sealed up. Right. There we are so we've got one un uninterrupted bead. The next thing is to use JP's super tool. Well, I see a little strip of oil coming off there because this is uh, you mustn't get any oil on this bit on this face. So we'll clean it all off. Make sure it's good. 
JP at the machine shop made me this. Really? It's a beauty. It's an absolute beauty. Just slip it over there like that, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's tapered too. Yeah. Let the seal. Locate it on. Push it. That's it. Take it off. Put it into its bag. Now these bolts here don't need Loctite on them when we put them back in. And we just let the seal locate itself. Okay. We don't pull it left or pull it right. We just let it sort itself out. Now once upon a time I used to use guide bolts, bolts but I thought it was a waste of time. Because it's the seal that matters. Well, it's busy down here today, isn't it? Yeah, that's two, that's two trucks being down here. Yeah. Whose is that one? Oh, the neighbour up there. Uh -huh. There's a door closing. Uh -huh. Can we get um, a 10 millimetre drive, a uh, 10 millimetre head with a 3 8 Have we got one out? Yes, on, on the impact. Oh yeah, okay. Because these have to be tightened up evenly to 25 newton meters. I don't know what that is. It's 25 I newton meters, Curtis. See, nobody over here knows what they are. I, I have to, I have to figure out that we've got an international audience. <laughs> I'll give you a ratchet. Oh, no, it's alright. <laughs> I've got the top <laughs> top wrench here. Okay. I think what they've done is they've got silicone everywhere on it. Yep. They're way too much. Oh yeah. Sometimes sealers like that can actually hinder you. They don't actually help. No. Then if you don't know how to do it, that's the main well, thing. Well they just think, think because it hadn't got a gasket. See, in the old days they used to put a gasket on these. Uh -huh. Not now. They just bring them straight on. So we'll just nip the bolts up. Right. That's it. That's it. Now what you have to do, back off the torque wrench once you're finished with it. Yep. Course, bugger the spring. So that's that done. Quite pleased with that. That wasn't that wasn't too bad, was it? No, I do the same thing with my fly rod, my fishing rods. Back off. Huh? What's it's this got to do with fishing rods? Same thing. What? When you, eh? when, you, when you fit the tension on it, when you're reeling, so it won't go zzz all the time. You back off when you finish using. It. Curtis, have you been smoking things? No. It's got nothing to do with fishing rods. <laughs> No, the principle of bagging oh, off. Oh, yeah, backing that off. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I thought you went tightening the bolts down here. What no. the hell's that going to do with price of eggs? So I'll tell you what we'll do now. We'll put the bolts just loosely in here. Okay. Right? No sealer on. We'll just put the bolts back in. Mm -hmm. We'll just get the power wash and just give this a quick squirt. Yeah, we'll move all our tools. We'll power wash off the flywheel. Yeah. We'll power wash off the inside of the uh, bell housing. Okay. But first of all, we must move that super tool.